I'm probably not alone in rediscovering the small joys offered by games and puzzles, including online ones, under lockdown. Jigsaws in particular are proving popular in my house, and it occurred to me that perhaps they present an interesting opportunity for students to engage in some beautiful mathematics. So, armed with my favourite free browser-based tool, GX Web, I chose a rich topic from each of algebra, number theory and geometry, and set out to build some interactive jigsaw puzzles. We'll have a quick look at each of these, but understand that each of these is a gateway not just to a more complete investigation document, but a collection of related activities and assessment tasks. So the Algebra Tiles Jigsaw, quite simply, creates a rectangle. Did you know how to use Algebra Tiles to tell if an expression can be factored? Well, you just see if all the pieces will fill a rectangle. Now, I could continue with positives, but I'm going to do something a bit sneaky here, which Now, to make it fit, I'm going to use some negatives. Alright, so what have we got? On one side, 3x plus 1. On the other side, 3x minus 1. Not surprising. Can you see how that's easily readable from the, from the diagram? So for students learning about factoring quadratics, this is gold. Okay, linked to the algebra tiles representation, of course, the graphical and table of values. Our second jigsaw, the continued fractions jigsaw. Now continued fractions are wonderful, wonderful ways to look at number and uh, have many, many positive applications. This jigsaw, now the first one is actually guiding. So it shows students where to place the tiles. And it also shows them the result. This represents the number 10 over 7. It's continued fraction from largest square down to smallest, 1, 2, 3. So we tap the jigsaw puzzle, jigsaw button, and put in our result. 10 over 7. Well done. Let's try another one. Now this one doesn't look very exciting. Oh, I could do it, but I could also grab the point P and create my own. All right. Yeah. Like any good jigsaw puzzle. This one, 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 two. Now, if I don't know what fraction that is, I can enter one, one, two, and it will take me step by step through the process. The continued fraction, one, one, two is one plus one over one plus one over two. We start at the bottom and work our way upwards, one and a half, one over that. So this guides the students through the steps. One and a half is three over two. Turn it upside down. To be one and two thirds, which is five over three. And that's our result. Honestly, once you've played around with continued fractions, you'll never look at numbers quite the same way again. Our third jigsaw is about kissing circles, or more pro formally, Apollonian gaskets. 
Now, the circles that fit together to fill a space, um, turns out, number theory, there is always a lovely pattern of numbers. In this case, uh, the larger outside circle, let's have a look at the values. The bend or curvature is the reciprocal of the radius, and it's an easier way to think about these. If you look at the pattern here, minus 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 15, these are the circles that will fit. So the jigsaw puzzle then, messes things up for us a bit. We've got the pieces of the jigsaw. Let's spread them out so we can see them. I'm going to put the largest one across to the side. Now these two just fiddling around here, getting them to fit, and then press jigsaw and see. Yes, that's correct. So lots and lots of beautiful mathematics in kissing circles. And again, a collection of activities that take students well beyond uh, what they've encountered before, but in a very accessible, step-by-step -step assisted way. Have fun.